What's up guys and gals and welcome to Guadalupe, my name is Splattercat and we are here today with the next episode of Sid Meier's Pirates, one of my favorite games of all time, one that I'm happy to share with you. We are in the sunset of our career right now, which also reminds me, you know what, whenever I think about sunset, I think about those, those the, the Pacific coolers, that's what it is, with the Capri Suns, where it's got like the, it had the little sun on the front, they changed the picture, I got one the other day, and the picture is no longer the same as it was when I was a kid, and I guess things can't stay the same forever, but I would have liked it, I mean, I would have preferred it, but I remember the Pacific cooler. It used to have like a little guy on like a kayak and he was just like chilling and then there was the sun going down and every time I talk about the sunset of anything that's what I think about. Let's go to the tavern because we got a criminale to catch. The bartender motions you over. The Libertine L. Chatelet is hiding in the back. If you wish I will take you to him. As he said it really dramatically. I don't know. He's always fancied being an actor and unfortunately things just haven't come together for him. He just hasn't got the callbacks. I think he really just needs to stay on his business, make sure that he's constantly updating his resume. And honestly, you just gotta get out there and like meet with directors. And until he starts to do that, I I don't know. He's he's been growing spiteful lately. I mean he's got good delivery. I'll give him that. He's got really, really good delivery, but I'm thinking bartending may be all that's left for him. I don't know. I just don't know. Who can say? And bottle over the head. And yet another guy knocked out. We are quite the criminal. But, oh, we only got a thousand gold for him. Man, commit more crimes so I can get more money. What are you doing? Step your game up, man. Terrible criminal. Go back to sink. I like how I go on the honor system. I don't actually capture that guy. He's like, all right. I got hit in the head with a bottle. So clearly I'm going to go back to St. Kitts. You got me. I, I find that to be slightly humorous. Let's get some. Ooh, Jack Rackham's treasure. Hell yeah. That looks like it's in a weird spot. That definitely looks like a weird spot. We'll figure it out later. I had a weird spot once. Made me worried. I went to the doctor. I was like, so I've got this weird spot. The Royal Purchase is heading to Guadalupe. We could rob it. Nope, nope, nope. We need to stay on topic. We need to stay on topic. Did I talk to the governor already? I don't know. Let's try one more time just to make sure. There's a new governor in Monster. I did. I, that totally wasn't even my fault, but I'll take credit for it. I just happen to have a ruby ring. Let's see here. Mr. Farthingsworth is wanted for embezzlement, and he's in Santo Domingo. There's a lot of criminals around now. I don't know why criminality's been going. It must be like the end of the piracy age. You've got a lot more like petty criminals and stuff just sitting around in town stealing things. Although, what would you steal in this time period? Wooden teeth? I would assume you would steal like something of value, but probably mostly gold. Bullion! That's such a fun word to say. Bullion. It even sounds distinguished. Like, if you have a whole bunch of bullion, and you wear a monocle, it would just be fun to talk about your bullion. Let's see if I can whittle down his crew slightly so that- Oh, he shot my sails. That was not very pleasant of him. <laughs> you missed. Oh, and I shot you in the shoulder. No more baseball career for you. That dream- Oh, I just got hit because I'm not paying attention. That dream is now set sail. Wow, we are getting so much slower. I need to stick to the rapier, otherwise this is just not going to work for me. And unfortunately, he didn't have anything with him. He had a lot of cannons and a lot of food. It was an invasion force, so we'll probably make somebody happy by stopping it. Let's go ahead, we'll trip down this way. And we'll just beat people up as we go along. That ship is flying right there. He got like the NOS on that thing, damn. He's like, light it up, and then like, taken off down the street. God, too fast and too furious. Three Fast and Three Furious? Pirates? I'm not even sure how you would wrangle that into a movie, but it'd be awesome. I'd watch Pirates Drift. I mean, it'd be a ridiculous film, but it could still- I mean, if, in a world where Sharknado exists, why not? You know what I mean? I mean, these things already exist, and so we might as well just keep making ridiculous films. I don't know if I'm gonna have better luck off this way with the Spanish. I probably will. Let's go beat up the Span- Oh, I should've gone to Port Morn. No, I want to go back over there, but it's into the wind, and that makes me sad, and I hate going right in this game. It is a game about being a pirate, so who would ever want to go right? You always got to stay in the wrong when you're a pirate. Do what you want, because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Let's go beat up this trade galleon. I don't know if he's going to drop anything good, but... Aside from a load in his pants, once he realizes we're coming for him, and we are the legendary pirate Mildew. Ooh, that was a good one right there. Yeah, he and his five crew left. I don't think they want to fight back. So we got a little bit of gold. We got some goods. We got some guns. Okay, we'll hold on to it. I'm going to continue having as large of a crew as I can, although my ships are looking a little roughed up. I don't want to go as far over as Curacao. I really do think that's a terrible idea. Let's go back to Port Morn, I guess. 
I'm going to try and keep this thing slightly catacorner to the wind. Just because. I don't know where the word catacorner came from, but you know how cats always like to sit around corners? That's what it makes me think about. Is like cats always like to sit on the edge of a corner and just be like, me With like one eye around just looking at you all suspicious. Like, I'm like, I know you're up to something right now. You're about to slash my ankle when I walk by, aren't you? My cat does that. She's evil. She's vicious. When you walk by, she'll hide under the table and she'll just be like, blah! She'll grab your foot with her, with her paw and it, it's quite painful sometimes. Jack Rackham's treasure. Cutthroat Reef. Oh, that's going to be like out in Cuba or something. I know it is. It's going to be way up in Cuba. I'm going to feel like a fool. Let's see here. Anything else going on? Let's grab some more pirates. I like pirates. We don't need to talk to the captain because we got nothing that needs to happen. I like how they just built a house around a crashed ship. That's pretty dope. That's like a realistic thing that I would like to do in real life. I want to have an old... Well, it'd be kind of a dick move though to destroy an old ancient ship. Did you know that the flagship of the British Navy... What are these? Treasure ships... Oh, hell. Well, you've sort of captured me now. We kind of got to make this happen. About to make ourselves real, real rich and real, real popular. Assuming I can outduel this guy. Although, I don't want to lose any more crew, so I'm going to try not to eat any broadsides while we're out here. He's not going to outmaneuver me, that's for sure. Alright, I'm going to go with the rapier because I always have trouble. Oh, he's using a longsword? Alright, let's find out. God, I'm so slow. I have to work on, like, actually, like, timing my blows skillfully. There it is. And so that's what the Curious does right there. I looked it up and I was like, you know what? If we stab at the same time, what happens? And how come it ignores the blow sometimes? That's the Curious. It allows you to stab straight through people sometimes. Every now and again. That was not as awesome of a treasure ship as I thought it would be. Oh, well. We'll take this one, too. How many treasure galleons can we stuff into our greedy pockets? The answer, surprisingly, is zero because pirate pants don't have great pocket space. Although our sails are looking pretty mashed up, which is actually a really, really bad thing. That's something that we want to... Yeah, I was going to say, if he tries to hit us with chain shot anytime soon, it... No, I did the cutlass on accident. Damn it. I would really prefer not to be using the Cutlass right now. There we go, off the ship. The Cutlass is a weapon that some people prefer. I don't know, some people really, really like the Cutlass, and other people just find it to be worthless. I'm in the latter party. It can be nice, a ladder party. A ladder party sounds like a party that just like roofers would have or something like that. And being a roofer, believe me, we exalt our ladders. Our ladder is like our best friend. Until you can slide down that thing, like where you put your feet and your hands on the side and go all the way down. Although be careful, you might burn your hands when you do that. Make sure you're wearing gloves or something before you do it because friction burns are a very, very real thing. Let's go back up. We've captured enough stuff right now to where I'm feeling pretty confident about the fact that we may be able to wrangle ourselves a couple of level ups. I'm not going over to Barbados because their prices tend to not be so great. And what I'm trying to do right now is make as much money as possible off all the stuff that we pilted. We've got like 80 of the really, really valuable luxuries. And so since we're sitting on just like a pile of goblets, which is what I imagine luxuries look like because I think that's the picture they give you. Oh my god, a southward wind. See, I think the game's cheating. A cheating ass game. It's looking at the direction we're trying to sail and giving us bad winds because it hates us. It hates us and it wants us to suffer. It's okay though. We'll go to Martinique and we'll sell some of this stuff off. Although I'm not sure what Martinique's prices are going to look like. I should have stopped that ship from doing that before it went in there. Because now it's a poor place. Attractive daughter wants to go to the evening's grand ball. We will absolutely take that. You should always continue dancing with the daughters. Even after you've already become married. Because it's going to allow you to find lost cities. Which is kind of a major part of your adventure at this point. There's not a whole lot left for us to do. After we get Jack Rackham's treasure, we do a little bit more dancing. Eh, we should be in a good place to retire, I think. I don't know how we're going to end up as our final score. There are a number of ways that you can finish everything from like a pauper on up to a colonial governor. But I think we'll probably finish somewhere higher up on the list. I don't see any reason why we would finish really, really low. We also need to find, unfortunately, we haven't been able to find the other medicinal herbs. There's medicinal herbs, and then there's magical, like, shamanic herbs or something like that that you can get. And the second, the latter group right there, allows you to live way, way longer. We need to find those because it's going to force us into retirement pretty soon if we decide to distribute the loot. Which means we're carrying around, like, this giant pocket full of gold that's, like, you could lose at any moment if you lose a fight. And considering how old and decrepit we're getting at dueling, it becomes very, very worrying. 
If you're looking for an interesting read, you should look up the history of dueling with rapiers and swords. Very, very interesting. It'll take you back through, not necessarily too far back, but I would, I would look up, actually, if you specifically want interesting stories, look up dueling in the French Empire shortly, oh, I don't know what year I'm thinking of right now. It was probably a little after this time. No, I don't know. I'll have to look it up one more time. Anyways, look up French dueling back in like the 1600s, 1700s, and it's pretty crazy. Like, they have instances of where, like, one guy would kill 12 people in an afternoon in duels because it became, like, a trend. All of the noblemen were just out stabbing each other with pointy objects because they thought it made themselves more manly. And, in fact, the ladies would duel, too. There was one lady who was a renowned duelist who killed, like, a ridiculous amount of people. Like, you look at the body count and you're like, wow, she killed a lot of people. She went ham mode on that ass. <laughs> he looks so surprised right there when he's like, oh, no. A 5,000 gold reward is offered for B. Fox, who was wanted by the Crown for treason. He is in Maracaibo. I've been to Maracaibo, I think. Have I? No, I haven't. Never mind. I was trying to... Oh, these prices are sucky. I'm going to get rid of some guns here, though. And some food, maybe. So let's get rid of the guns. Take that down to 40, and we'll get rid of some food because the prices are okay. I mean, they're not amazing, but they're all right. It's enough to give us a couple hundred more gold. There we go. And then, what was our, what's our rank here? Are we a Marquis? I don't remember. Oh, we're a Duke. Even better. Okay. So, now that we're a Duke, we can actually, I almost sold my ship right there. Bad things almost happened. We can sell off some of these craptastic ships that we don't need to carry around with us any longer. A war gallium named Philip. The Philip. Uh, as, as again, that seems a little bit, it's like naming your ship Steve. The HMS Steven. It's like, well... I guess for the time period it might work. Oh, there's a Versailles over there? Hmm. Interesting. A Spanish raider. I should probably stop that from happening. He's headed to where? He's raiding Guadalupe. Okay, let's go ahead and stop this raider from causing any problems. Oh no, I went after the wrong guy. My bad. Also, I forgot to repair my ship like an idiot. Who does that? Eh, I'm gonna let him go. Oh, never mind. That ship's getting sunk. Let's go ahead and we'll go to Guadalupe. Well, that finishes off, and I gotta fix my ship. This is bad. How I forgot to do that, I don't know. But I did. But I did. We're just gonna address it and move on. Go to the merchant, and things are still looking a little bit scanty over here. It doesn't look like we're gonna get an amazing payout for some of this loot. So I think I might have to go elsewhere. Let's talk to the governor. Couple more acres, and... That lady, okay, he's going to challenge us to a duel on our next arrival. We should probably go out to Petit Guave and check in on our wife to see if she's got anything else for us. We could use, like, another piece of the map right here, although this piece would be quite a bit more useful than this piece. But we'll see how the cookie crumbles. We'll go to Montserrat and see what we can sell. There we go. That's more what I was looking for. If we can get rid of all of these luxuries, we should be in amazing... Is that like a luxury... It's hard for me to sell, like, it's a goblet, but it's, it's like a goblet full of gold. As far as opulence goes, I think that's about as just pimping as you can get. Just a pimp cup full of gold and jewels. And then in between that, oh, even better, you put, you use gold as ice cubes. So you put your doubloons in the freezer, and then after you get, all the coins are really disgusting. So you'd have to boil them first to make sure that they weren't too nasty. And so after you did that, then you could put them in the freezer. And then inside of your pimp cup, you could actually put your drink in, like you get your bubbly... Or, you know, you get your rosé or whatever it is that you're drinking, and then you put your frozen doubloons up in there. Uh, oh, that'd be so sick. That would be, I mean, it would be... <laughs> oh, God, hedonism. Hedonism, I guess. I love hedonism bot in Futurama, by the way. He's one of my... He's like, the pour the chocolate sauce all over his gut. <laughs> That's, like, the greatest thing. Why? What does this do for you? It doesn't matter. <laughs> you can't do it, and I can. There we go, and so now we are a count. That means that we are quite the mathematician. That smile. His teeth are still white, which I think is pretty inaccurate. Oh, that's right. His attractive daughter wanted like a ring or something, too. Maybe I should get on that. And I should be checking these taverns, too. Jack Rackham's treasure. West of Santiago, we can go get Jack Rackham's treasure. Well, I don't know if we're going to be down around Santiago anytime soon. It could happen, though. Alright, and so let's take a look at our bounties here and figure out where we want to go. We got one in Maracaibo. We've got one in Santo Domingo. And so these are all going to be places that I can't really get into without getting myself into trouble. 
We've only got a 4,000 gold bounty. It's not as bad as it could be, but it's still pretty bad. I mean, as far as things go like that, it's it's still an ugly situation. I probably should have unloaded that ship over there, too. Doesn't matter. Off to the south we go. We'll beat up the Spanish some more, then we'll swing on back. It's a little bit of a sloggy grind when you're trying to get this thing done. Where did it say this treasure was? Santiago. So that's Cuba. I knew it was going to be off by Cuba. I thought I recognized. We have to go to Petit Guave anyways. Let's just go to Petit Guave. we got to go visit our wife, so we might as well do it now rather than later. We'll also beat up some ships along the way because I just noticed our food supply is looking a little bit iffy. We'll jump in on both these cats. He's going to put out what looks like seven rounds at me, but instead of but, 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 we're just going to duck it. It's going to be a giant waste of his time. Hit him with a grape shot. All right, and I'm going to go with the rapier, as I always do, because I'm finding my swing speed to be less than... Oh, hell. See, like, this fight, I feel like I'm really fast. I don't know. I think it alternates depending on your opponent's dual skill, too. Eight gold pieces. God, they were broke as a joke. However, we did get a bunch of food out of it, so I'll take it. Then we'll finish this guy off, get him to surrender. And I don't know if that's going to be enough grape shot. Yeah, it was close, but not enough. Close, but no cigar. That dude leaped the entire stairs. We used to play that game when I was a kid, when where you would try and like jump over how many stairs you could, and that's how I broke my tailbone, because I tried to jump over all the stairs, because I'm a competitive person. I'm an all-in type of person. Like, if somebody's trying to beat me at a given, like, sport or endeavor, I have to, like, I have to one-up them. It's just I'm a competitive person. It's what I do. And so my cousin jumped over, like, half the stairs, and then I jumped over all the stairs. Actually, I think I jumped over... It was We weren't playing a game. I think he was chasing me with a pool cue. That's what it was. My cousin was trying to hit me with a pool cue. That's what it was. I remember now. So we had gotten in... I don't even remember what had happened. Like, we were just playing like kids do. And then all of a sudden, it took like a sudden violent turn. Because that's what happens when kids play too. And then all of a sudden, he was chasing me with a pool cue. And I realized that I could go down the stairs or I could jump all the stairs. And jumping all the stairs seemed like a better idea. And I jumped all the stairs, but my heel hit the bottom stair, and I fell, and I broke my tailbone. And so I'm laying there on the floor, like, unable to make any sounds that don't involve hissing. So basically, I was doing my best impression of a snake on the floor. It's like, yeah! That's what it sounded like, because it hurt so much that, like, I couldn't make a noise. And so my cousin, at that moment, realized that he no longer wanted to, like, this was rapidly, it was rapidly starting to look like it was going to be his fault as soon as somebody's mom figured out what was going on, so he disengaged from the situation entirely. It was just like, I'm out. I was upstairs playing Sega Genesis. <laughs> and so, that's just how, that's how it went down. Shit got real. Shit got real. And then I had, like, this little floating piece of bone in my butt cheek for a while. Like, it actually broke off my tailbone and, like, shoved it off to the side. And, I don't know, it's not there anymore, so I suppose my body melted it or something. I didn't even know your body could do that. I know I, like, double broke my tailbone in high school because my friend was messing with me and pulled a chair out from underneath me while I was sitting at lunch one day, and it, like, re-broke it or something like that. She's like, oh, you dick! And, like, for two days I couldn't walk. It was pretty bad. I have a long history with ass-related injuries. <laughs> No, stop making this port poor right before I'm trying to sell stuff there. Come on now. Unfortunately, these cannons don't fire. It's not like Assassin's Creed 4 where these cannons actually open up a giant can of whoop-ass on you. They just sort of sit there. Let's go ahead and attack this. We should probably invade a city or something. That's what I should do. Let me see if I can get enough soldiers together to take over a city in the south so I don't have to run all the way back up here whenever the British need my help. Or whenever I need a promotion from the British. I think that might be the best plan. You guys have been asking to see the conquering system anyway, so I'll see what I can do to put on my best bad fur day. Let's jump on in here. Come on, you can sail into port. I believe in you. The wind is with you, my friend. The wind is with you. All right, so we'll sell these off. Wow, this place is wealthy, and look how much they're paying for goods. We're not going to be able to sell everything here, but we'll be able to sell a small chunk. And then we'll visit the shipwright. We'll get rid of some of these ships, upgrade the hammocks. He's saying uh-huh a lot. I just noticed that. He's like uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. He's totally agreeing with everything we have to say. Increase my land holdings by 300 acres. Oh, yes. Darling, how wonderful to see you again. I don't know why I'm doing that accent when she's French. Surely you will accompany me to this evening's grand ball. Sure, we are married after all. You gotta put in that FaceTime for the marriage. Do it for the kids that we don't have. God, I am accumulating some medals right now. Looking like a Cold War general. I knew it was gonna go that way before it even happened. We got the slow song. I don't like this song. 
This long, this, this, this long. That's Freudian. That's weird. Anyways. <laughs> oh, God. The things that happen during these episodes. The things that happen. Anyways. This song is too slow and it makes me sad because it doesn't require any form of effort. And so I'm just going to dither while we handle this. Although it's a good thing. We need to dance with our wife so that she can give us maps to the Lost Cities. Because if we don't have those, we're missing out on a major point system for the game. I think you can get a total of like 16 points or something like that from the Lost Cities. And so we've got a big chunk. Considering we're like in the top percentile right now for our score, we need every single point that we can glean during the rest of the playthrough. We are getting a little bit older. I'm thinking we're going to have to retire. I mean, I think it forces retirement at 45 if you have the first health item. I'm not sure. I'll have to look that one up. I don't remember the specific number, but it's somewhere like in your 40s that it forces you to retire eventually if you divide the loot. I just wanted to point that out. Like, you don't have to retire if you're like out in the middle of the sea. But if you go to port and you divide the loot, it'll be like, Whoa, you're way too old to get back out there, Grandpa. Cool those gray hairs down and, you know, live your life and all that. Like, well, I've done, the game says on the cover, it says live the life, and I think that I've done it pretty well. Oh boy, we're going in for a second verse, huh? Alright, whatever. I don't know why the governor is still, like, hovering over us as though we need, like, an escort. I'm like, dude, I'm already married to your daughter, bro. We're already doing all kinds of crazy shit in the bedroom. It doesn't even matter. We're already, it's been, like, five years, dude. We've graduated to every kind of weird thing to spice things up that you can possibly imagine. We don't need an escort anymore. <laughs> It's all good. There it is. Fabled Lost City of the Incas. Anchor Shaw. Oh, it's by Veracruz. Son of a bitch. Oh, that's so terrible. I feel sick to my stomach right now. <laughs> no. No. That's such a giant waste of my time. I don't want to go back over to Veracruz. But we have to now. Oh, balls. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sail away right here, just like that. Is that an Enya song? We're like, sail away, sail away, sail away. I think that was an Enya song. I'm pretty sure that's an Enya song, but that's what I just had stuck in my head. Let's go back over to here. Come on. Oh my god. I, wanna, I don't want any more goods. I want goods to be going. Although, I guess this might be a good opportunity. Yeah, I'll take the ring. 7,000 gold pieces on my head. It's pretty heavy, but it works out those neck muscles, so, you know. It's all good. I don't mind a little bit of extra weight. And so, I suppose what we'll do now... Oh, I can only travel at the speed of my slowest ship, and I didn't realize I had a broke-ass ship with me. He's like, I'm not that broke. I mean, I, I earn a decent wage whenever I work. It's just kind of work is rare nowadays. It's just hard to get employment. Like, I'm, that's not what I mean, ship. That's not what I mean. Cease yourself. I'm like, alright, well, I was just trying to help you. I mean, I figured we had some punny goodness going on. We might as well just, like, jump on into it full, full bore, you know what I mean? Every time I do that voice, people act, ask me if I'm the guy that did the voice from the... The Venture Brothers, number 24, or whatever his name is. No, it's not me. It's not me. I wish it was me. I'll put it like that. I've always wanted to be a voice actor. It's just like a really tough business to break into. I've done a couple of things, like random little commercials and stuff, but no. It's 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 difficult. It's difficult to get in. I need to go to the ship right. I don't know what I'm doing right now. There we go. And so I think a good plan for us might be to head to Veracruz. And now that we've got enough information, the other thing we can do is grab the treasure by Santiago. We may want to go up here and see if we can get amnesty from one of these little villages up here. And then when we travel down to the southeast, what we'll do is we'll bust up one of the cities in there and try and take over it so that we can give ourselves a nice healthy dose of Britishism down in the south. And once we've got enough Britishism down there, we can get ourselves... You're shooting at me, really? I was just... I wasn't even going to beat you up, man. He's like, I'm taking chances. I'm going to shoot you first. That's just how it goes in the hood, homie. We'll go back to Villa de Tresor. See if they've got anything useful for us here. We're going to hit this little monastery over here. And once we hit the monastery, we'll be able to get amnesty for a little while. Maybe. I mean, we might not get what we want. The mustache allows you to sneak into cities. Yeah, I'll take it. Why not? The infant is traveling. Oh, he's up in Eleuthera. So it might be a good idea to go up there as well. And just see if maybe we can head him off. 
get Raimondo along the way, find our grandfather, because that's the other thing that we haven't finished off yet, is we still have one more family member to find. And I know this has been an episode full of me just doing whatever, but there is a focus. We are trying to get on better terms with the British. Okay, so he wanted to send immigrants out. Instead, what I'll do is I'll go up to the north right here, and we've got to go up this way. Actually, no, we've got to go get Rackham's treasure. Let's get Rackham's treasure first, and that's where we'll start the next episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in the Nerd Castle for another episode of Sid Meier's Pirates. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and as always, hi-do.